With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is P, Q, R and S are respectively the midpoints of the sides A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A of quadrilateral A, B, C, D in which A, C is equals to B, D. Then we have to prove that P, Q, R, S is rhombus. Okay. Suppose that this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. This A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral and this is P, Q, R and S are the midpoints of a b b c c d and a d respectively then we have to prove that to we have to prove that p q r s is a rhombus okay now what is given in the question given that given that a c is equals to b d a c is equals to b d okay this is given in the question okay so first we join a c and bd ac and bd this is diagonal ac this is diagonal ac and this is diagonal bd okay now now to prove pqrs is a rhombus what we have to show if we are able to show that pq is equals to qr is equals to rs is equals to ps then pqrs is a rhombus so what is the proof first step is in triangle a d c in triangle a d c in triangle in triangle a d c okay in triangle a d c s and r is the midpoints of sides a d and c d s and r s and R is the midpoint midpoint of side AD and DC AD and DC so from midpoint theorem what we know from from midpoint theorem midpoint theorem we say that SR is parallel to AC and SR is equals to half AC. Okay, SR SR is parallel to AC and SR is equals to half AC. Suppose this is equation number one. Okay, now in triangle in triangle in triangle ABC in triangle ABC now in triangle in in triangle a b c okay now in triangle a b c similarly this p and q is the midpoint of a b and b c given in the question p and q is the midpoint of a b and b c p and q is the midpoint of midpoint of a b and b c okay so from midpoint theorem what we say that from from midpoint theorem from midpoint theorem we say that p q is parallel to a c and p q is equals to half a c p q is p q is parallel to AC and PQ is equals to half AC. This is equation number two. Now, from equation one and two, what we can conclude from equation one and two? Okay, from equation one and two, we say that this SR, this SR, SR is equals to half AC and this. PQ is also equals to half AC. So SR is equals to PQ. So SR is equals to PQ. So from here we say that SR is equals to PQ is equals to half AC. Suppose this is our equation number 3. Okay. 
now similarly similarly simi similarly in triangle in triangle bcd in triangle bcd in triangle in triangle in triangle bcd we say that we say that rq is parallel to bd and rq is equals to half bd rq is rq is parallel to bd and rq is equals to half bd suppose this is equation number 4 this is by midpoint theorem and in triangle in triangle bad in triangle bad ps is parallel to bd and ps is equals to half bd in triangle bad in triangle bad in triangle bad in triangle bad we say that ps is parallel to bd ps is parallel to bd ps is parallel to bd and ps is equals to half of bd this is equation number five and from equation number four and five what we can conclude from equation four and five we say that what we can say rq is equals to ps rq is equals to ps is equals to half of bd this is equation number six okay now from equation number from equation number six and equation number three from equation number three and six from equation three and six what we can conclude here what is equation number three equation number three is sr is equals to pq sr is equals to pq is equals to half of ac this is equation number three and what is equation number six equation number six is rq is equals to ps rq is equals to ps is equals to half of bd this is equation number six and what is given in the question in the question given that ac is equals to bd ac is equals to bd ac ac is equals to bd this is given in the question now from these three statements from from these three conclusions we say that we say that sr is equals to pq sr is equals to pq is equals to rq is equals to ps so from here we say that from here we say that we say that pqrs pqrs is a rhombus pqrs is a rhombus this we have to prove this we have to proof okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today